So cutaway of a PT6. Where's the air inlet? Yeah, so it's backwards. It's, it's, it's a little confusing on this end because uh, it's a cutaway. <laughs> so from here, yeah, so if we look on the other side. You can see a place for air to come into right here. Correct. Uh, so the air inlet is right here. Mm -hmm. So and so it's that's, reverse, and so it'll come that's the front of the engine. Yeah, so that's a little confusing. And this so, and so, where's the compressor? Uh, this is the compressor section. So how does air get into the compressor? Where does that? This go? inlet. Right yes. Yep. Your hand that shows it great. And so this okay. is a uh, this is axial flow, and then it goes to centrifugal. Yep. Or centrifugal, I should say. Yeah. Perfect. And then it gets pushed out to the outer edge, really into this gap right here, yep. where this is where the air pressure is built up. So, actually, there's a whole there's a whole ring of tubes here. If you can, all of these, mm -hmm. all of these tubes, and it goes into these nozzles, sort of down there, like like up here. So it gets blown into these nozzles. Okay. Then, and then from those nozzles, it will go hot. Um, air will be forced through the turbine section and the turbine's only job is to spin the compressor section and so this hot air will be forced through these uh, uh, first set of turbine blades and this is also the hottest part of the engine right here it should be because I think this is combustion area right here yeah see what happens is this airflow flows here it flows all around this burner can this burner can has holes in the outside okay. air then goes uh, let me see if you look. Well, here, here are holes in the burner can. All there strategically placed there. Mm -hmm. You can see, oh, there you can see them up inside. Past oh, that I plexiglass, see. there's holes. So air flows into this burner can, gets mixed with fuel. Here's a fuel nozzle. Mm -hmm. This is the fuel nozzle ring, the fuel manifold. Here's one of the nozzles, but there's nozzles all the way around okay uh in in and there so the atomized fuel mixes with the actual lit flame and the hot air comes through through yep. the turbine section yes and so this is an igniter and it'll have two two on, on uh, turbines. and then so this would light the fuel but once the fuel is lit they turn the igniters off because once the flame is lit it burns so then then it burns and expands flows around here mm -hmm. goes through the inlet guide vanes into this turbine which is their gas generator turbine okay. you're, you're correct its only function is to turn the compressor yeah. how much of the engine's power how much of the energy generated by the burning of the fuel is used by this turbine wheel to drive that 40 percent 60 percent goes to the outside 40 goes to the inside or is that just no high bypass or high bypass no uh what do you mean, like airflow? That's I'm talking about the energy. Oh. Um. Basically, this is a this is about a 600 horsepower engine. Okay. Okay. If this is a 600 horsepower engine, this turbine wheel, which is the second turbine wheel in the system, the gas goes through this turbine wheel which drives the compressor. Then it goes through this, these guide vanes and they turn this turbine wheel, which this one is, doesn't, isn't turning easily. It does if this ring gets positioned the right place. But anyway, that turns this turbine wheel. That turbine wheel drives the gearbox, which drives the prop. So if you get 600 horsepower on this one, uh, so this turbine wheel gives you about 600 horsepower. This turbine wheel has to generate about uh, 1,200 horsepower just wow. to turn that compressor. Ooh. Incredible, yeah. Okay. So airflow goes from the compressor around the uh, combustion chamber into the combustion chamber mixed with fuel burns, goes through this turbine wheel, which turns that compressor, uh, and then goes through this turbine wheel, which drives the prop, and then exits 
overboard out through. Well, this is not part of it. <laughs> so exits out through the exhaust ducts here, of which you only see part of one. Yeah, and that's the airflow through a Pratt & Whitney PT6. One of the most popular engines out there. So this is the, the accessory section on the back of the engine. This fuel is the pump. fuel control unit. So, oh, which, which the contains pump. the fuel pump, okay. Yeah. And then something like this would be the tack drive generator. Now that drives the tachometer. Starter generator is going to get bolted on at this location. So starter yeah. generator would be right here. Starter generator is there. Okay. Yeah. So it's, they have gearboxes on both sides. This of the one has a gearbox on both sides of the engine. Uh, this is the uh, this is the the uh, fuel oil. It's a fuel heater. Okay. But it's but it's an air. No. It's a fuel. Oh, fuel. Oil, it heats the fuel, cools the oil. Okay. <laughs> okay. Run As the oil, this has oil lines that run to it, and and the main fuel line comes in here, gotcha. so it'll it'll cool that. And then, yep. And then on the front of the engine, the accessories up here. This is the prop governor. Up here. Okay. So and this controls. This the controls the prop. Yeah. Okay. What is this here? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like an electrical component of some sort. Transmitter pressure. That's going to be the torque. That's going to measure the engine torque. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's so, a gauge of some sort, I guess. Well, yeah. Yeah, the way the torque measurement works in this is there's actually a cylinder in here. We've got this part of this planetary gear, and this planetary gear can slide forward and backward a little, little bit mm -hmm. on there. And they measure the pressure that the gearbox is exerting on this gear, and they turn that into a pressure, which they can now determine engine torque from. Okay.